Hi darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and today I am making a man soap. Don't make those very often because uh, for the longest time they weren't really selling but I do have, I mean I work with all men mostly so I do have quite a few male customers now so um, I'm going to start making more men soaps. And this one is um, a Bath and Body Works dupe called Oak for Men and it smells really really nice. I've seen uh, Oak for Men in Bath and Body Works before and I believe I smelled it. I can't remember. Yes I did. That's why I purchased it because I did like the way it smells. But it's very masculine and I mean it's okay for some women too because I do have women customers when I make men uh, men soaps. They do buy um, they, they do buy the soaps for themselves. So um, the colors I am using are gray, uh, yellow, like a mustard yellow, a dark mustard yellow, and also black. And I'm on the fence because I was thinking to um, um, add, what did I say? I was thinking to not add uh, white to my base, just leave it soap base color, but I'm not sure if I'll love that now that I think about it. So I just poured in my fragrance and a little bit of super fatting. Oh, and also I'm uh, using a water discount of 25%. Um, I think I mentioned that in some previous videos. So I like the way it works. I learned this method from Tiggy over at Future Primitive and you guys should go over there and check her out because she's a hoot and I just love watching her channel. I've loved her from day one since I ever found her. Um, always stalked her channel <laughs> but she's just so sweet and I just love seeing her. She's inspiration to me because she actually has a brick and mortar store so it is so so nice to see other soap makers who actually have physical stores and get to see her work in her shop because that is my dream. So, um, yeah, I, she did a video on water discounting. She did 50% and she did say take baby steps up to 50% and I'm going to get there eventually, but right now I'm going to test it out at 25% because I have never ever water discount, uh, up until the last few videos that I've been making. So, so far, so good. Um, so now, oh, this smells very, very nice and clearly it's behaving well it's very very fluid and just like Tiggy she was quite surprised that it stays super fluid with a water discount even with her 50% so I was just kind of like whoa dude but uh <laughs> I just have to get used to the texture of my soaps because yes it does change the texture of my soaps not by much but they aren't as smooth as they normally are but they they're still beautiful of course but um I guess you know what can you expect because you did change something in it so I'm going to go ahead and pour these off and I'm going to attempt to do a design where this is going to be on an angle just for these three colors and then I have not decided if I want the rest to be white or how I want to do it so I will bring you guys back when I have made all these decisions and mixed all this in Okay, so um, now I just had another thought to add just a dash of white, but I changed my mind. But yeah, um, this fragrance plays very, very, very nicely, so I'm very happy about that, which I've been fairly lucky. <laughs> Alright guys, so, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think that's good enough. A tilt like that is good enough. I don't really care if it gets on the side of the wall. It's not really a wall pour or anything like that. It's just a design I want in the bottom of the soap. So, and I did pour a little bit of my batter off into a tiny bowl because I'm going to make a soap called the, cat, the Cat's Pajamas. And I keep forgetting to separate off some for it. So, um, I didn't forget this time. So, I'm going to pour 
this back and forth and I'm still undecided if I want to save any for the top. I think I don't want to. Ooh, what's that? I don't know, but I just messed it up. Okay. So, um, that's all that I'm going to put in there and the rest I'm going to put on the top. Um, and as you guys can see, this is my new signature mold. You will be seeing this mold probably most of the time. I am like so truly and madly in love with this mold. I know I said it a lot in other videos that I've made, but I am. I just can't even get over how awesome sauce this mold is. And again, this mold is from Custom Craft Tools. Um, it's an Etsy shop. Please go over there and support because uh, they do make fantastic molds. So what I'm going to do now is a little bit of a drop swirl. And I'm like seriously living on the edge here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> because I want to get the rest of this soap in here without breaking through. I mean like not breaking through. I just broke through it. Duh. But um... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anywho, so my whole plan was to take a hanger, then I nixed the hanger, but now I think I want to bring said hanger back. Um, so what I'm going to do, which is kind of bring it around a little bit, nothing too crazy. And now I just remember that I actually want to do the hanger after I pour my white, duh. But so whatever, ain't nothing I can do about that now, now is it? Me and my tuss of soap floaties. Alright, let me clean off my fingers and then I can finish cleaning out this hanger. Okay, so. I'm just going to give this a another bit of a stir and then smack this down to kind of settle things and it's still a little bit runny so I was going to set it up but I don't think that's going to work and I see a nice amount of air bubbles just popped up so so I don't really know how I'm supposed to get this down in here without causing too much of disturbance I think I got it but okay yeah I can just kind of help it along yep perfect as long as I don't pour it out of the mold. <laughs> I, I was just saying that and I was just about to do it. So <laughs> I couldn't go ahead and wait. Hold on. I can do this in and then I'll set it up. Oop, okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop now. Because in a minute I'm going to pour it out the mold. And I don't know why I decided this was the design I wanted to do. Just was. So, um... I don't even know if that's going to make a difference, but I just wanted to try it. And maybe I did use more color than I had anticipated, but I still think it's going to turn out lovely. No. Check this. Okay. Just checking my little bit I poured off to the side so I can make my cat's pajamas. And honestly, I don't want to give you too much detail, but this is all I poured off to the side. And it has a little thin layer on top, which when I stir it up it's going to be nice and fluid and it's actually going to be the perfect um, consistency that I want it to be to do that project so so yeah so I don't want to give away too much you guys see what you see it so I'm going to give that a little jiggle and a shake okay there we go yeah I don't know if this is going to make too much of an impact but I think I'll like it anyway so but it smells fantastic I will say that absolutely so I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this bowl and then we'll work on the top okay so now I kind of feel like I need to take the hanger down just on this side and bring up some color into the white just to integrate the two colors I don't want it to look like I just what I just did plop the color the plain color on the top so I'm gonna think I want to do this
and that probably didn't make much of a difference but it makes me feel better <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna go with that I don't know if that did anything honestly but again just makes me feel better it makes me feel like I did something so is it off my finger give her one more smack down if you, wait a minute wait just hold on y'all I felt something like an idea like this okay I think this will work better than that hanger yep because it kind of gives me control of how far I want to go around yep I can actually see some of the yellow I mean some of the dark color coming up all right so now I'm very very happy and hello darlings to those of you who are new I am so freaking happy you found my channel thank you for sticking around uh, this far <laughs> I'm so happy to have you I definitely am and welcome to the stinking awesome crew and if you would like to become part of that stinking awesome crew all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button just like that and voila you are a part of my stinking awesome crew we would love to have you here because we do have a lot of fun we sure do okay I'm not gonna finish out no intro I mean no outros like I'm leaving because I'm not I still got to do this top now the question is how do I want to do this top <sighs> okay I think I just figured it out I'm going or what I'm gonna do a flat top mantra swirl crazy times I have not done one of those in forever and I'm actually gonna leave it as a mantra I'm not gonna muck it up so I think I saved just enough so very happy me wow this soap smells lovely I do enjoy making men's soaps because they smell so nice but I just needed some men to actually buy them <laughs> but that's not the problem anymore so thank you to the guys that do So now I'm just going to give this a wee bit of a jiggle and smack. Nothing crazy. And then I'm going to take the spatula and put back in what I just shook out. I just can't get over how fucking fantastic this mole is. And I would just really love if I stopped throwing this black over the yellow. That would be great okay this mole is just uh it is absolutely everything for me <laughs> and no i am not sponsored by that company at all but uh i just i do love their products i'm sure you guys can tell that because <laughs> i've probably said it about 15 times how much i love these moles that i have from custom craft tools so if you're looking for a fantastic aesthetically pleasing mole please do head over there and say hi to Alex and tell him I sent you because he is very great very 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 easy to work with and very great business owner and very accurate so very pleased with working with custom craft tools I know this is getting a bit ridiculous what I'm doing but I'm just trying to clean up the sides because I want it to all stay in the mold I'm trying to pull, I'm trying to pull my my glove like close to my finger so I can just wipe it across there we go that's what I was trying to do that's what I should have did in the beginning Duh. okay so now let's take this and what do I want to do okay we're gonna do some of that oh, wow I've not done one of these in forever 
and I was going to go up and down, but no, I don't think so, because I really like the way this looks. Yeah, it's spilling off the sides, and that's okay, because I can just, um, I can just plane that, well, bevel it off. Okay, nice. I like it. Yes, I do. Why well, am I talking so loud? I don't know. <laughs> but you guys should be used to that by now. So, yes, there will be a cutting and unmold. I just enjoy it. <laughs> I know I keep talking about this mold, guys. Please forgive me, but I really do enjoy unmolding with this mold. Like, you guys know I love my silicone tall skinny. But this mold is just really fun to unmold because it just comes off so easily and your soap is so smooth. It almost has like a glass texture to it. I just love it. So, yeah, and I just really enjoy the fact that I can see through it. I wish that I could show you guys what I can see. But whenever I try it, like the, the glare from my lights actually distorts it. You really can't see what I see. So, but you will get to see it once I unmold it. So, yeah, stick around. If you want to see me unmold and cut this soap, see you over there. Hi, darling. Next day, time to cut soap. It, still, I don't, you know, I don't understand. Like, I've been doing a water discount, but these soaps have been kind of sticky when I take them out the mold, which is very unusual. Um, but, whatever. This has been sitting out for about, I don't know, maybe an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really sticky. It won't even move. So... I'm not cutting it off. I was not going to, but why not? Okay. If I can keep my soap cutter from moving around. Now, normally, since I've been doing water discounts, I've been waiting um, a couple of days to cut my soap just because I've been busy. But this time I want to cut it early. This is crazy soft. I don't really love this. But, um,. They do harden up pretty quick. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, cut the whole thing. I like the way it looks better than when I let them sit for a couple of days, which is odd, because normally it's the opposite when I don't do a water discount. So, oop, oh, oh no. Because <laughs> it got stuck and I pushed it and it kind of makes gouges in my soap. When it's up against the stop, I don't like that. Oh, this thing is crazy tacky. That is so weird. And why this turned yellow, I don't know, but I love it. I think maybe it's the fragrance oil that turned it yellow. That's really cool. It looks good with the top. Um, the whole design that I had going on did not go through, but I do like the way this looks. Anyway, I'm really, really digging that yellow base because <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Let me grab a napkin. I can do it. Now, hopefully... I don't ram this into this stop again. Alrighty. Wow, it is just crazy. Maybe I should start running my dehumid dehumidifier, <laughs> my dehumidifier again. Um, let's see if that helps. I don't normally run it this time of year because there's no need. It is January the twentieth pretty dry my soaping studio but um hmm so it's just like here's my dilemma cut it too late I get these speckles that I don't like like that's what I've been getting and I don't love the look of that and I thought maybe it was just this soap but it's actually the second soap that I've cut a couple of days later after water discount and got those I'm pretty sure lots of other people don't get it it's just I need to figure out what's gonna work for me but then when I do cut it early um then I get those little pull marks because the soap is rather soft and if it was an air bubble there then it kind of makes these little you guys know what I mean I'll show you but anywho that's enough of that I hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day I just got finished doing a photo session. Um, it's just the little things when you have a business, especially when you have a website that are very tedious. And to me, 
um, taking photos is one of them. I don't really love it too much. I mean, honestly, it's fine when I'm doing it, but it's just to make myself want to do it. That's the problem. So, <laughs> um, oh, I really do like the look of this. Oh, this is very different from anything I've ever done. Like I said, the whole tilted design thing didn't work out, but this is kind of cool looking. And it is very manly. And that's what we need. More man soaps. So I will be making more man soaps. And I think this is going to be called man soap. <laughs> Actually, yes. Yes, it is. That's the name of the soap. I don't know why that popped in my head the other day. I hadn't even made a soap yet. But I said so the next time I make a man soap, it's going to be called man soap. So here's man soap. But, um, yeah, that's a really cool looking, unusual swirl. But it does smell amazeballs, y'all. To totally amazeballs. I really do like this. Like I said, I am a huge fan of men fragrance, colognes, whatever. Because Gabe, like, his, de oh my gosh, his deodorant smell divine. I love the smell of his uh, deodorant and that sounds really creepy but like if we're laying next to each other I can smell his armpit I'm just like ah oh, that smells so good but I'm not gonna stick my nose in his armpit that's really gross but uh, <laughs> it does smell really good I guess it's better than you know, all the way around having a smelly armpit but uh that's TMI so let's finish with cutting this soap <laughs> oh that's crazy anyway um he's upstairs cooking and it smells delicious I'm getting hungry. I've been down here all morning. And happy Sunday to you all. Um, yeah, I just came out and packed an order. And I just get so super happy when I see orders around this time of year. Because this time of year is always really, really slow for me. But don't sleep on the sales that I have on soaps that are over on my website. Because this is around the time of year that I put a lot of my soaps on sale because I'm trying to get rid of the stragglers so I think I, I mean I'm not swimming in products over there but I do believe most everything that's over there is on sale except for a couple new releases so yeah be sure to head over there and check it out this is so lovely I love the soft buttery pale yellow of this soap I like this wow very very nice oh and two I didn't even did I did I did I die mm, yeah I did okay I had to remember did I take a hanger do a hanger swirl idea but that is actually really cool and see that's why I use a chopstick I actually like the chopstick swirl better than a hanger but it's not always it's easy to control it but um that turned out pretty dang gown cool man okay and towards the end very nice so for those of you who are just tuning in um, I think I said this already but I'm gonna welcome you again welcome to my channel welcome to the stinging awesome crew thanks for sticking around this long um, and watching me make soap I really really appreciate you doing that and for those of you that are always here you know I love you and thank you for always coming back to see me every Sunday and then an occasional Saturday or Friday when I decide to pop in extra videos thanks for your support so um, I'm not gonna cut it back off of this one just because it would just make no sense it would be too thin um, wow that smells lovely so, <laughs> yeah um, I'm into making my spring soaps already because um, yep yeah, did one quote unquote Valentine Day colored soap but yeah gotta rebatch that one just because it turned out well you know what no 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 I take that back I did decide earlier I'm not going to rebatch it because I think something is extremely ugly doesn't mean everyone else does so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you because I keep saying I'm going to and I keep forgetting let me grab this soap and you guys tell me what you think and yeah this is gonna be weeks later um, but do tell me what you think would you buy a soap that looks like this knowing that there's nothing wrong with it other than the statics hold please okay so as the weeks go by this is steadily getting darker and darker and I was going to take this soap if you guys remember this was my hey girl hey um, I was going to take this soap and shred it up and then rebatch it but who's to say when I rebatch it it's not going to keep getting darker and darker so um, 
I've decided that I'm going to just keep this and make a oops section in my store because people, some people don't mind this. It smells amazing. It's still an amazing soap. It's just aesthetically ugly to me. Doesn't mean it's going to be aesthetically ugly to everyone else. So there's the top. I need to steam it. Even when it did start changing, I was still a fan of the top with the uh, chocolate color in it. But it just needs a little bit of a steaming. But would you buy a soap that looked like this? Um, if I can figure out how to do the polls, I will do that. And you guys, uh, leave in the polls, would you, uh, buy this soap or would you not buy this soap? Based on aesthetics, knowing that it is still a great soap, just not the prettiest. And of course, it'll be discounted just because it's going in the oops section. Alright guys, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing. Everything you do, if you do like this soap, you want to buy it, it is over at my shop which you can find in the link below or you can wait until the pop-up that should be coming up right about now um yeah so take care of yourself be off amazing everything you do to the next making video see you over there bye